Rahmanrahim. Today, the topic of our discussion is Depo Provera and other injectable contraceptives, which are included among the long acting reversible contraceptive methods. And what are the examples of commonly used injectable hormonal contraceptives? Those include, first of all, intramuscular depomidroxyprogesterone acetate. Secondly, subcutaneous depomidroxyprogesterone acetate or cyanopress. Thirdly, the norethesterone in enthane. So let us talk about the intramuscular depomidroxyprogesterone acetate. The intramuscular depomidroxyprogesterone acetate is given in the dose of 150 mg intramuscular injection every 12 weekly. It is most commonly used progesterone containing injectable contraceptive. Let us talk about the subcutaneous jumper, also called cyanopress, that is given in the dose of 104 mg subcutaneously every 12 13 weekly and it is bioequivalent to IM depomidroxyprogesterone acetate. What is Uniject delivery system? The Uniject delivery system is a pre-filled injector for delivering the subcutaneous depomidroxyprogesterone acetate and this injector is needed to be shaken vigorously to ensure a uniform suspension. Where is cyanopress injection injected? It can be injected into the upper anterior thigh or anterior abdomen. Let us compare the IM dumper and cyanopress. When we compare cyanopress and intramuscular dumper, the rate of bone loss, amenorrhea, weight gain and return to fertility are same as for IM dumper. What are the additional benefits of cyanopress? Cyanopress is beneficial for the women who are on anticoagulants as there is less high likelihood of hematoma formation. Moreover, the cyanopress is more advantageous for very obese women when there is concern that injection may not reach the muscle. Let us talk about the norethesterone in enthane injection. This injection is given in the dose of 200 mg and it is licensed for short term use and it is also given as deep intramuscular injection but 8 weekly means after every 2 months. Now let us revise the doses and frequency of each type of injectable contraceptives. First of all, intramuscular depomidroxyprogesterone acetate that is given in the dose of 150 mg 12 weekly interval. Secondly, subcutaneous depomidroxyprogesterone acetate, also called cyanopress, it is given in the dose of 104 mg 13 weekly interval. Non-ethesterone in enthane as an intramuscular injectable contraceptive is given in the dose of 200 mg at 8 weekly interval. Let us talk about the mechanism of action of injectable contraceptives. The main mode of action of injectable contraceptive is inhibition of ovulation. Secondly, it also causes the thickening of the cervical mucus and prevent the sperm penetration into upper reproductive tract. Thirdly, it also brings about changes in endometrium, making the environment unfavorable for implantation. Let us talk about the effectiveness of depomidroxyprogesterone acetate. The failure rate of depomidroxyprogesterone acetate is less than 4 in 1000 over 2 years. Let us talk about the return to fertility. There is delay in return to fertility for up to one year with a progesterone only injectable contraceptives. However, there is no role to suggest that fertility is reduced in the long term. Now, why is there high rate of discontinuation of depomidroxyprogesterone acetate? Now, 50% of progesterone only injectable contraceptive users will discontinue this method within one year. The main reason for discontinuation are bleeding problem and the weight gain. What are the side effects of depomidroxyprogesterone acetate? First of all, bleeding problem. Amenorrhea, spotting and infrequent bleeding or prolonged ble bleeding can occur with the progesterone only injectable contraceptives. Amenorrhea is more likely as the duration of use increases. A third of the women are amenorrheic at 3 months and 70% by 12 months of use. Second side effect is that of weight gain. The average weight gain among the women using dumpa is between 2 to 6 kg. It tends to be more in the women with a BMI of more than 30 than in those with a BMI of less than 25. 
let us talk about certain health concerns in relation to jamba first of all let us discuss the cardiovascular diseases related health concerns progesterone only injectable contraceptives do not appear to be associated with increased risk of stroke vte or myocardial infarction let us talk about health concern in relation to jamba about the bone mineral density Concerns have been raised about the potential detrimental effect of jampa on the bone mineral density. There have been particular concerns about the use of jampa in women aged less than 18 years who have not attained their peak bone mass and among the older women who are approaching the menopause when the bone loss will occur. The Department of Health, the Mehra 19, issued the guidance that in the women aged under 18 years, DAMPA may be used as a first-line contraception after all options have been discussed and considered unsuitable or unacceptable. And a re-evaluation of the risks and benefits of the treatment for all the women should be carried out every two yearly in those who wish to continue the use. For women with a significant lifestyle and or other medical risk factors for osteoporosis, other methods of contraception should be considered. Let us discuss the drug interaction of depomidroxyprogesterone acetate. The enzyme-inducing drugs like anti-epileptic drugs do not reduce the contraceptive efficacy of jumpa. Therefore, the injection intervals do not have to be reduced. And what are the non-contraceptive benefits of injectable contraceptives? Depomidroxyprogesterone acetate improved dysmenorrhea and the symptoms of endometriosis. So that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to end it with these golden words. One isn't necessarily born with courage, but one is born with potential. Without courage, we can't practice any other virtue with consistency. We can't be kind, true, merciful, generous, or honest. So be courageous in life. So thank you so much. Wish you best of luck in every step of your life. Allah Hafiz.